okay, are you looking for something really fun and engaging for your students to use? I have discovered this new site, Blukit. Love it. More than Quizlet Live and um, a little easier to navigate than quizzes as far as making the assessment. I'm going to show you why. I already use Quizlet a lot and also on Quizlet there's a lot that's already self-built, uh, but I've been using Quizlet for years. So this is a natural fit for me. So let me show you how to do it. Here are ones that I already have, but let's create a new one. Okay, so here you can see the ones that I have up at the top. You can see this create menu. So this is what I'm going to click on. Okay, and I'm going to say this is human body controlling systems. And I'm going to pause this as I type my description, and then I'm going to show you the next part. Okay, I have my description typed. All right now, I'm going to go to the image gallery and I'm going to look for, um, let's try. All right, that's not quite what I was looking for. Okay, just needed to add system, and uh, we're gonna go. Oh, we're gonna go with this one. Okay. Now uh, I'm leaving mine public, but you can do you can switch it to private if you wish. Um, however, I'm using it with my students, so private would not be useful. Now I can build it manually, but here's what I love, Quizlet import. So I'm gonna check this and I'm gonna create my set, okay? And I already know how to do it. So if you don't know, you can open this, which is gonna do this, open up to your Quizlet, okay? Um, or you could search Quizlet. So if you are looking for something in particular, okay? But I already know the set that I wanna use. So I'm gonna go to the next step. It's going to walk you through the steps, but I'm going to show it to you. So it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. So I'm going to go here. So what I need to do is here's my Quizlet that I've made. I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on export. Okay. And now all I need to do right here is click copy text. Okay. The text is copied. Go back here paste it in here and add questions Then just let it work. Okay. It does its little bouncy thing. And there we go. You can see I automatically inserted 40 questions. Okay. If I go out of here, you can see that that is exactly the number of terms in my Quizlet. So now I'm going to go back up to the top here and I want to save set. So I'm almost done, but I want to save it. Now it's been added to my list of sets. Here it is and able to be played by students. Easy peasy. So find something that you like on Quizlet, build your own Quizlet, or you can start from scratch within Bluekit. I just find the transition from Quizlet into Bluekit really nice. Okay. One downside, which is maybe a reason you might want to make it in Blukit, okay, is when I look at this set, okay, if I, you see the answers, okay, just like when you do Quizlet um, test or Quizlet live, how it randomly picks terms from your list, it does the same thing here when it builds it. So sometimes the question might be too easy in your opinion, but I think it's just for practice and it's supposed to be fun. So I don't really mind it. If that's something that you don't like, I would consider building it within Blukit. One thing that I'm going to ask you to do when you are all set and done and you go to settings, you have an option to add a refer right here. This is me. This is no period, no space Jenkins. If you would do that, that would be awesome. So thanks so much. I hope you learned a little bit. And in my next video, I'm going to show you how a Blukit actually works.